Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question of the week is about pruning live oaks and red oaks. Susie Epstein wants to know, why do we paint pruning cuts on oak trees, but not on other trees? I'm so glad you've asked this question, Susie, as it's a concept that's easily confused. Not that long ago, arborists changed the recommendations on painting pruning cuts after scientific research indicated that this practice actually inhibited the healing process. But then along came the discovery and rapid escalation of the disease that causes oak wilt and new scientific research indicating that painting pruning cuts on oaks helps to inhibit the spread of this disease. Even though painting the cut does inhibit the healing process, it's considered the lesser of two evils when it comes to oak wilt. The fragrance of freshly cut wood is very attracted to the natulid beetle, which is the vector of the oak wilt fungus. So you should paint fresh pruning cuts as soon as the branch falls to the ground. And the painting needs to be done within 10 minutes of pruning. So don't wait until you finish pruning the entire tree. Another helpful practice is to avoid pruning during the time when the beetles are active. So don't prune between February 1st and June 30th. Once an area of oak trees becomes infected, the transmission of the disease is primarily through root grafts that naturally develop between trees growing close together. But to keep your neighborhood from becoming an infection center, you should definitely follow the recommendations for pruning only between July and January here in Central Texas. Your next question might naturally be, what do I use to paint the pruning cut? Anything that seals the surface of the cut from exuding volatile fragrant compounds until it dies back a bit will work. Personally, I prefer a clear lacquer or spray adhesive. Spray paint's easier to use than a paintbrush and any type or color will work. But if you use color paint, the area will remain that color, and I just find that unsightly. Susie also wants to know, what is the best disinfectant to use on pruning tools? The general recommendation is to use a solution of 10% bleach, but this practice will quickly corrode your metal tools. Newer extension recommendations are to spray your tools with Lysol, Pine Sol, or other household disinfectant, which cause no damage to tools. Our plant of the week is Calendula, Calendula officinalis. Although this edible flower is an annual and will need to be replanted each year, it's well worth the time and effort. We rarely focus as much attention on our winter gardens as we do in the summer, but this little easy care plant brings spring cheer to dreary winter days. The vibrant yellow flowers are attractive to bees and hummingbirds when they start to arrive with warmer weather, when other flowers are not quite ready yet. Plant calendula in full sun in well-drained soil and don't overwater. It easily spreads from seed, so be sure to deadhead if you want to contain it to one spot. Those dried seed heads can be saved until next winter when you can easily sow them in the garden. A small plant getting only about 18 inches tall and less than a foot wide, Calendula makes a lovely addition to beds along borders and walkways where its cheery disposition may be best enjoyed. To do in your garden this week, purchase and plant fruit trees and blackberries. It's also a great time to plant asparagus crowns and onion sets. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions and pictures from your garden. Mm -hmm.